She never went to school properly. She never went to university. But the vision that God brought it in her, she went in Calcutta, Calcutta, India. And to see poor, poor kids dying on the street, dying on the street, hungry, they have no food. And it, 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 it got her, it got her from inside. It's like, ah, you know, what, what is going on? And she started to pick up kids um, and, 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 and you know um, she started to pick up kids on, on the street. She started to feed kids and bring them in her in, in, in her small in her small environment. And so vision started like that. Um, and it began to expand. So what are what, what are some of the things that are bother you? What are some of the things that affect you? This is the inspiration. Let me explain to you. You can get bad vision and good vision. And what do you mean by, by bad vision? Now, we have people, we have people, leaders in this world who are projecting bad vision. And for example, let me, let me talk about, right? Hitler, everybody know Hitler. And you gotta understand Hitler was a visionary, but the vision was very bad, right? You get a lot of people following him and, and he began to do a lot of negative things. And so this is what I'm talking about, bad vision. And good vision is about first thing, seeing Jesus, understanding what Jesus wants for you. Yeah. Right? So this would mean when it talks about vision, it must be in the bracket of of of, of, yeah, of, yeah. of the context of, of Jesus, the revelation of Jesus. And the, 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 the next thing about vision is that you need to be serving in a church. If you're not serving in a church, how how God can give you his vision? So first thing you must serve with a pastor with a local pastor in your community you must be under a pastor under a ministry for my god, god now give you vision so god god might give you a dream like god give you dreams to everybody unsafe you don't got to be baptized you don't got to be holy spirit filled god give you dreams to explain warnings or explain things to you or to turn you turn you to god but vision is different god yes. don't give vision to unsafe people or people who are non, 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 just, just coming to Christ. Yes, you're gonna get it, but you can fulfill it in the way God wants to. Because when God called Abraham, let me talk about somebody who God called for us. And when God called Abraham for us that with a vision, he, he, you know, he didn't understand. He now living with his father in a place called Haran. He's in Haran. He's unsaved. And now God is speaking to him. And, and see, the, 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 the vision comes. You see, vision comes by a few things. It can come by the word of God or it can, it can come by God. God's speaking to you. And let me explain this to you. So a dream is when you are sleeping. So you get a dream when you are sleeping and God speak to you. Yeah. But vision is when you are sleeping and God speaking to you and you can speak back to God. So yeah, yeah. vision really is that when you are like literally sleeping but then you can commune with god yes. but dreams is that you can't commune back with god you are sleeping so a vision is when god is, is showing you things and explaining things to you yes right and where you can god. speak to god and speak commune back. to god yeah and there is other vision where god can speak through the word of god the bible this is why you need to be saved and understand certain basic concepts some understanding some theology about the bible and so vision is like this <clears throat> and so you know, when, when God began to speak to Abraham, you know, he didn't understand everything. He didn't understand everything what God wants for him as yet. And so this vision is, is, is future. It's, 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 it's not for now because you can understand what God is comprehending to you. Vision yeah. is like when God is speaking something and it's so bigger than you. It's so large. It's so, it's so humorous. It's so expanding and you can't like do it. If you doing something right now, or you got a vision and you say, oh, well, vision is that I want to lose some weight or I want to exercise or my New Year's resolution is to do certain things last week. That is not really vision. You can you can get it done. Right. Or I want to get a vision to get married. Well, you, you don't got to get a vision to get married. Just go get the scripture said that um, be not the only cure you. So the scripture doesn't speak that go ahead, get married. You don't got to get a vision, but do not be unequal. You, you know, some people think that travel the world oh should i get a vision travel in the world no you don't got it you don't need a vision to travel the world the bible says going in all, go into all the world and preach the gospel so it's you know it's a command it's already there so you don't got to have a vision yes. in terms of go and go which country to go all right so you, you you can you can go and so and so to young people when you get this vision it's not for now no what what god do when he give you a vision so as so i explain to you when you get vision it's not for 
is not is it's not for now it's for for later because god need to like when god make a vessel right it said that god make vessel so god can pour anything without a vessel so he have to make the vessel for us he have to fashion the vessel before he yeah. pours into it and so and so it's like vision oh so vision god, god gonna life. make you yes, and so yes. you are like for example like you god gonna make you and here what i'm saying god gonna make you where god wants you for vision right for, for later down it's future because you can see you can comprehend what god have for you if later down when you were when you, when you were in haruni camp and you see god say that you you know god you have a, a program live and ministers coming from around the world to speak on your show you can't comprehend that because at your time when you were young you didn't really had facebook and live and you don't know how to put it together but this is how god began to fashion you and so yeah. you start when you start this show it start it start it start by you and Kerry start a vision of 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 you wanted to do something for god and music and so and so god expanded and so vision is like that where you know and where you going to be in the future you you know god is going to open it you can you can see it god might say you know later studio so the vessel got to be made the vessel got to be the vessel got to be made so you got to go back you and Kerry got to go back to school you got to learn editing you got to learn graphic design you got to learn to make flyers and so right so all of these things all of these things you need to learn you need to go back to school you need to how to go back how how to speak how to for public speaking you got to go back to school university you got to learn how to graphic design song engineer and so so when god give you this vision the strategy is for you know how to get it done and so you need to you you need to use your skill you see vision is 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 how you are some things in vision is that how you were born how you were made up and so all of these things where you went through in the past it helps you to build vision for example let me give you an example and so as Kerry like music and and before then you know it bothered him he want to play gospel music he wants to play and it bored him you know and it so the bored him begin to start him and so god begin to take you know speak with other people minister and so the dream begin to expand and god going to tell you later well look look start a studio and then you going to say well well how god is the studio and you wait, you know and you waiting for like somebody drop money no somebody drop money or no it don't work so you need to the bible said to habakkuk the bible said to habakkuk right it said god said the word of the lord came to habakkuk and it said like it said like what what, what is it saying that it was saying that run with the vision run with the vision hold on to it run with the vision grab it and so you got to get a vision you run with it and you run with this vision what is it what it in you and yeah. so you run with the vision but the bible say for the time of revelation for the time for revealing and so when you run with this vision it and everything and reveal to you yeah everything is not clear right. to you yet. as you run in yeah. as you run in things will be revealed to you right as you know as you hear running with life you know god is going to reveal things to you later god yeah. is going to reveal studio and you can say well how 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 would i how would i do the studio so you and kerry got to what to do you got to go back to school you got to do some evening classes you got to do evening classes you have to go and get yourself equipped with these things nobody not no listen to me you got to understand when you get a vision you're going to bring the most people going to say well i know you run it i know you carry i know you lean so you can speak you lean to went to university or big fancy school or you know harvard and princeton who you know about soft software engineering and song system and, and live and so you know people going to say no nah, he's not your too you know and, and they want to distract you from what god wants from you and so and if you bother with this kind of people you say oh this is why sometimes you don't really listen to people you say well who are you to 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 to, to speak um, who give you authority you know and people people be, you know people come like this well who well you can't speak but but the, the vision is you see god, listen all you remember god used a shepherd to become king shepherd boy god used butlers god used nehemiah you see you understand nehemiah used to serve wine the kings he was a butler giving wine but god is not giving a vision you know when he said when he heard when he heard that, that the walls of of jerusalem was torn down 
He said, got to him. He tear him from inside. And so vision is bought like that. Um, it's something what torture. It's something that what deep inside, inside, deep, deep inside you that begins to like smash or like, oh, this thing gotta get this thing done. And he said, he tell the king, hey, this thing, you know, he, the king was like, hey, oh, what your face upset? Why are you so upset? Why are you so, you know? Why are you so downcast? And he was explaining to the king that this, you know, the Jerusalem gate have been torn down. And so he was a butler. And God is using a butler to do engineer. God is using a butler now to build walls, construct walls. You know, and God has given you certain vision to do certain things sometimes beyond you. And we don't understand if you know the geographical location of Jerusalem. It's wide, it's huge. Jerusalem was a Jerusalem was a big place and he gotta build walls around. And he didn't really get nobody. He didn't really get no finance. He didn't get no nobody. He didn't get people to, to follow the, follow his dreams. And so the thing with vision is that vision is really not for like pastors. What, what I'm saying, Leandro, what, what I'm saying by this, vision is not for pastors. No, vision is for pastors to explain to the people. Give them the vision and let them run with it. So when, when pastors preach, your vision is supposed to be so that people could understand. If you got a vision, don't try to give people a whole long, long concept of this vision. Vision is supposed to be so easy that the normal man in the street can understand it. So if I really to get a vision, how do I explain to people my vision? So you got to explain your vision in a few sentences what you are really doing. But you keep the long concept and the long theology in your mind. And so you, the vision you need to explain to people, you need to make people join with you. And I was explaining to you, you need groups. People that, hey, run it, I like what you want here. We're doing it. We want to pardon with you. And the thing with the vision is that you got to know how to work in groups, work with pardon. People can, how, how do people come on with you? And one of the things that what, I, what God was, 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 was um, teaching me, right? Let me get some water. Go ahead. One of the things that God began to teach me, and what I'm saying, God, what I'm saying was this is that the vision is futuristic. So many years ago, God began to give me a vision of what I, what, what I, what, what He supposed, what He wants for me. And you know, He showing me like around the world, and so I was like, you gotta understand, I in Haruni, in in, in in Bible school, in college, for uh, 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 about four or five years. And you know, when you're in Bible school, I'm now working. I ain't gonna find. It. And God is showing me all these places, travel, and I like. Like bro, can't get no money in Bible school. Like, oh, I'm gonna go there. And in Bible school, I used to tell people, I wanna go to India, I wanna go to Brazil, I wanna travel the world. And people said, this guy crazy. And the thing is that people, people, people said, this guy crazy, this guy, you know, this guy mad, this guy is a demon, you know what I mean? And, and this is one of the things that it, 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 it affects people. Guy, like, people see that people look at you at the end. And, you know, people look at you and, like, hey, nah, this guy can't, you know, this guy really can't expand he can't go no way he he he, 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 in, he, he in shape you know what i mean he in, he's not a well-speaking person or he ain't get character or he ain't get discipline or he you know he ain't know the word but god look beyond that and this is vision god look beyond that you see god gotta shape the vessel and you see when i when i was in bible school and god began to shape me people you know when i when god is shaping when god is digging out all the rough edges people only see the rough edge running People only see the, the rough edges that falling off. They don't see where God wants to take you, where God wants to go you. And this is why you, you need before you get vision. And before you before you before you begin to act on the vision, you, God needs to mold you. God needs to cut down some of your character. God needs to teach you a lot of stuff. And so you get the vision, but you gotta need know how to move on with the vision. And so in, in the process of what God wants for you to go where he needs to go you need to learn stuff you need to cut off some god gotta teach me god gotta teach me how to work with people one of the things that one of the problem god really touched with me in in bible school is that i used to like when somebody do something to me i like oh you want to make noise about it i want to you know i want to complain about it i want i want to you know i want to complain about it somebody do me something in bible school you know you want to react in in a kind of different attitude but 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 God is here, hey, 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 God is saying, hey, Leanto, hey, 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 I gotta work on that. Because I'm gonna take you some countries, like if, for example, I'm living in Cambodia. And I'm in Cambodia, right? And I'm going around the world in different places, India. People get different culture ideas, people get different thinking. How you do things, people in India won't do it. 
how you do things here in in, in Guyana, things in Guyana, in the Caribbean. People want to operate like people want to do things in Cambodia. And so I need to learn how to adjust, build bridges with community and work with different people. You gotta understand, my wife is like Asian and I, you know, my wife is Asian. What I eat, you know, when I first came in, in marriage, what I eat, she don't really eat. And what she eat, I don't eat. And some we have a lot of cultural difference. And because of this, this shaping in Haruni and this cutting in Bible school, it teaches me to work with people. And so, you know, people see that me all around the world. I, I, I learned this. And so this was the, the shaping part. This was the cutting part. You see, God wants to fulfill vision. So he needs to shape, shape the, 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 the pot. He needs to carve the pot before he pour in the vision. And so if you are carrying a vision, God needs to understand that you can take this vision. God don't give young people a vision for just die with it. I some people, you know, like you go in certain places and you go in and you see that the ministry die, the church die. You see, if God, you see, the thing is that this is it. I want to say something. I want to remember this with vision, right? Vision without Holy Spirit, you in trouble. You understand? Or, or, or if you have, if you're doing something without vision, you're going to be in trouble. So you need vision to accomplish what God wants. You need vision. So vision comes with God's provision. It comes with understanding. It comes with all of these things. But you got to prepare yourself. Young people need to prepare themselves. They need to, you know, go back to school, go back to university, train in that particular way where God wants them to be. So God was telling me that he can come here around the world and I'm going to preach to many nations and so you know, and, you know, when people look at that, it's like, hey, this man, this man God using, this man, you know, this man is really ready yet. He get in trouble. He get in trouble with people. He can't speak properly. You know, he, he can't, you know, he, he, you know, this man can, you know, and, and it's like this one. God use shepherd. God use David, a shepherd boy. You see, when, when the prophet came, the prophet said, hey, this David brother, he got to be look, he look good. He look, he, 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 he look, he looks, you know, he looks okay. And so the prophet makes a lot, the prophet was making a lot of mistakes. And, and, and you know, when he pick all the brothers, David brother, it's not this one here. It's not this one here. And sometimes we miss, we miss what God wants. Because when we look at the situation, we say, this person really can't function or this person can't operate in what God wants. But the vision is for future because God get the molding part. God get the, the, the cutting edge. God got to move the person. You understand? And so that is, that is what his vision is. It, it's in the future. And so what God has for you and me is, uh, y'all. what y'all can do about that? Right? But it's future. What God has for you, your mind can't comprehend. Your thinking or your, your brain can't comprehend the things that God has for you. It's so wide, it's so deep, it can expand. If you if you can, if you can, if, if you can fund the dream or if you wallet can fund the dream, it is not from God because God's dreams are so big. When God says you're going to travel the world like that, you don't want to take it to come like you know India or, or Cambodia. It's so much. It's like a couple. Of, when, 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 when I was in my business school, and I know I God was like I was I wanted to go to India. I ain't had no money. I even had a job. I ain't Bible school. When I go and see the ticket, one million guy dollar. Like say one million guy dollar. One million guy dollar was going to India. I mean, like, I was like, bro, I, I know me. I was like, God, you know. Then I so give you the vision. No, you gotta use strategic way. I gotta how to find strategic way now how I need to make a million dollars to go in because nobody on this nobody know you and if God do your vision go right so for example God do your vision you gotta put your mouth right or put your money where your mouth is if you say God give your vision nobody don't see it yet so nobody don't give you finance nobody don't give you money nobody don't give you camera nobody don't give you know you know because nobody understand what God got for you and so you need to fulfill your dream and believe God that God is saying this, and I have to use my 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 skill and, and my strategy how to get it done. And so I need to find a way. You see, when I get a vision, yes, the one I got a vision for young people, you get a vision. How would you how would you how uh, how gonna how are you gonna fulfill now? Leanne now, how are you gonna fulfill traveling the world and speaking? Now I need to get a strategy on how I go ahead. I have to learn skill, I have to learn things that how to go ahead. For example, I need to the way that I would the way to how to earn money, I would have to change my concept. So I, I can't work with people because you can't work with people and receive like 5,000 US dollars. Oh, you're going to receive, you know, like you can't, nobody paying you all that money. So I had to find strategy 
how to get this money. So I would go in and start start a company. I start one a company, and I start, and I start like we call we call it spray. We call like um in Trinidad they call it gypsum plant. I think um gypsum in the states gypsum. So I say hey, I have a company. I went I went I went I went just went went some business, and I say hey, I have a company, and I does this here, and um, I see you need some work done. And I went to a few company. I'm just saying well, we don't want to, you know, we want to get somebody ready. But God will open doors to you, and God opens some doors to me where people people need this job. And I say, hey, well, look, two thousand dollars. So I say, hey, I need like two more of these jobs, you know. And so, and when I work, we say, hey, you know, I did it to the best. I did it to the best ability. We say, hey, we like you. Put put me under somebody. And so this is how I get a lot a lot of finance in terms of doing things. I would normally go and go and do some work and then use that money and put it back to my dream. I didn't wait for nobody come and give me money and money throw it to me. No, I had to, I had to, I had to put my mouth. Hey, God tell you, well, you gotta find a way. If God tell you, God gonna open doors, right? So if I'm sweating, I'm like outside in the thing, you know, outside. And so you need to find ways, carry and and run it. How God is gonna build? If God is saying that He wants to take you to a, a studio, you gotta find strategy. You gotta find strategy. You gotta come up with ideas. How to build a studio? How to make this thing? Hey, nobody don't come and give you this thing. If God give you this vision. You gotta put your more God, but you gotta provide. And so Abraham, God gave vision, this vision to Abraham. Hey, get up, move from where you are, and go to a land. So, so move to a land. And so Abraham like move to a land. No, God tell him move, but God don't show you where party to go. And so vision, God don't show you everything where he wants to go. The word of God is like a lamp onto your foot. It's not like a like a big beam. So it start where your foot is, and as you walk, the light, the light moving. And you want to know, and you know, some of you want to know a lot of big things were gonna happen in the future. No, step by step, God reveal a dream. God doesn't reveal a dream; He reveal a vision, step by step. And so, and so, and so, as I saying that, as I saying that, as God revealed to you, and so God tell Abraham, hey, go to a land I can show you. God don't tell you which land you know. But you see, the land of the land of Israel was not existing as yet. Oh my gosh! God tell him to go to the land. Where I'm gonna show you? No, Israel didn't exist yet. It even named Israel yet. God said, "But go to a land." But you gonna understand? People was living in the land where God tell you. So God is showing you something, and when God shows you something, say, "Hey, look, people living there. The house so big. Yeah, I can't buy this. Well, it's not, you know, but I can't buy this house. This church too big. I can't, you know, a thousand people, ten million people." You tell me a million people and the church is only five people. So God tell me to speak the nation. But you know, we look at we look at the life and we see ten people. But I don't worry about that. You see, you understand, right? God tell me I'm gonna speak the nation and speak the people around the world. But this don't bother me. Because you know, one person God might want to speak to one person. Right? And so let me go back to Abraham. Like for example, I was I was I was I was doing a work, right? I was preaching in a small church. In a, in a village, and I, I I wanted to go to Singapore, but I didn't have the money. A very poor village, in one of the Amerindian village, very poor village. I was going to was preaching. So you can imagine like we in Guyana, like we in the interior, very poor, small church, maybe about hundred people or less. When people come out, people came out a lot, and so you know the alien to come, so they came out. So we had about 200, 150 for a small church. That's a lot of people. And so one people, one of the lady came and said, hey. Uh, Brother Lianto, you must come for breakfast. You know, so I went for breakfast. You know, in, in, in the interior village, so we had like cassava bread and you know a little meat. It was nice, nice coffee. The lady said, "Here, look, this is your passage to um to, to um going Georgetown. When you go Georgetown, I'm gonna I'll meet you in Georgetown, right?" This lady said, "Um, so here you're preaching. Where you wanna go, Singapore? Listen, how much it how." How much it goes to Singapore? So I was like, I mean, you know, I said, hey, you are the one about five hundred thousand Ghana dollars right now. So okay, Leon, hold on. What are they going to bank? Five hundred thousand. Like so what? You know what I mean? I mean, like a poor, like you know, what I mean? God has opened some people that you would even, you would even, you would comprehend that. Some people look poor, their house dropping down with the fence for a long. You like, you know what I mean? Like God can use this. So you gotta be, they gotta be careful of who God is choosing. Do not tell God who He must pick and who He must choose. He's like God is so complaining, like all oh, people who break down the house and for now. Even before then, I tell His people that hey, God is going to take you to God is going to take you. I see a vision in a dream to them. Not dream, but in a word. That even they didn't give me the thing yet, but I say hey, I see God is taking you all to the states. 
I, you know, I didn't mean, you know, I, I, I didn't, uh, they didn't give me anything yet. But I just telling you, but because they might bless me, I'm not saying because they bless me, God take them over or whatever to the states or whatever. But now the people, when you see that they God, they, you know I me, mean, they overseas now. They are traveling around the world, these people. But when you look at them for us, like, hey, you know I me, mean? how you how you could help me? But then you can't tell people, you can't, you you can't, you can't, you know, you can't tell people who 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 to choose or you know what what God to choose. And so vision is like that. You can't tell God who to use. Do what you are doing. Do your passion. What is your passion? And God is going to fund it. You can't tell people, well, I ain't get a thousand people watching me around it. I don't get time with that. One person might watch your show might say, hey, I like this show. Look, finance. How much do you want to build a studio? And so this is why when I do anything, I don't really, you know, see, you can't really, you can't do a vision and, and, and really bother people sometimes. What bought in me? God, what, what is what I do? And so, you know, you're around the world, around the places, you know, and like even, even when, even I, I can't really tell you all the stories, you know, how I came to Cambodia and all these things, what God began to do. And so, you know, I can't really like, you know, explain everything. But the thing about vision is that God would use who he wants to use, a baker, a shepherd. And, and, yeah. and I was saying God used them. And so God used Abraham. This, this 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 gentile guy from poor babylon and say go to this place i can show you but the place doesn't exist here you see the place doesn't exist if god said see if god's god can not shoot this god can't tell you i want to take you to jerusalem because if you look for jerusalem you can't find jerusalem because jerusalem exists yet because jerusalem can come from his children <laughs> oh my gosh he's israel his son right he's his his his, his grand's grandson right his great grand because Ishmael is Ishmael is his son Ishmael and Ishmael, uh, Ishmael had two sons, right? And his son J Jacob, because God changed Jacob to Israel. And so God can't tell him because the place didn't exist yet. So God telling you go down there, but the place didn't exist yet. Oh my gosh. Go. So God can't call the name. So God said, go to land I can show you. You see, God gotta break down the dream sometime because you can't understand. Go to land I show you. So when he go, he take all his sheep, he goat and family, and when he go all this thing dying you know, say, Oh God, why, why, are you sure you call me? All the gold, die all the shit, everything in the family and kill everything. And he say, you know what? And so sometimes when you when when and so sometimes when you are when when God gives you a vision, sometimes you die forth a little bit. And so many church sometimes die forth, die forth a little bit of what God wants them. And so you gotta understand, even when you're in a church, there are visions, there are di different stages in very churches. And you gotta understand what stage a church is it, like, uh, what state a church is. Because sometimes God you a vision and you're going to die for it because of you. You're seeing lack and you're seeing poverty around you. You're seeing things dying. He, he's seeing that everything, the gold, the sheep, everything dying out. And he's saying, God, you sure you, you sure you carry me to this land? Right? And he, you know, he died for it in the vision and he got to, he got to Egypt. He got to say, hey, you know what? This part, this part in Egypt, good. And so sometimes God gives you a vision and everything dying around you and you're seeing, go right there, stay right on the path. And sometimes I'm going, you know, doing things, and it it doesn't look like God. Stay in it. People tell you, oh, Elianto, you're crazy. Why are you going around the world and doing missionary work? You know, you can't get big house, you can't get big car. You know, don't make people talk to you. This is what I'm born for. I am born to be a mission. I am born to go around the world and preach the gospel. I was born for this day. I was born to preach the gospel. This is why God created me. So why are you going on? Yes, you can find a job until God provides for you in the meantime. Yes, I can do certain things that God provides for me. Don't go and say, ah, well, things poor, things don't work, you know. You see, you can't look on material things. You can't look on the things of, of your eyes. You can't you see, if you look on your eyes, you get a in problem. You got to see the vision. You got to hold on to the vision. You got to see what God told, told you. And so he look around, the, um, Abraham look around. And when he look around, you know, things dying and he say you know what? I think let me go to this place eh? this place you know Egypt I'm gonna feed my cattle and then you know I'm gonna go but God don't want you in Egypt Egypt somebody already there God might tell you gonna build a church but you want to go a church with plenty of people there no 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 I want you to go a place to empty I want you to go to a place with dry that the vision of God can work you can see out of dryness out of nothingness something come up that's his vision you're gonna build for somebody else's work you're gonna build 
you know, build up your wow, you want a big church, a fancy church, the church will knock people in and everything going, going, no, I want you to go with dry, I want you to go with dead, with nothing and bearing, nothing and nothing and nothing and growing. That God vision could come out of the minute that day. You say, hey, hey, Ronet, or Leanto, or Kiri, God really called it because the thing was dry, it was barren. God had to call them. You see? But if you go in a place where we're, where we're preparing, growing, you, you, you're feeding out for somebody else's ministry. You're feeding out for somebody else's work. And so, before you get a vision, I want to say something this. This is coming to my thought. And before you get a vision, you need to work under a pastor. Or you need to work with somebody who has a vision. You need to help them build their vision. So, oh, well, God gave me a vision, and I'm going to build my thing. No. It starts with working in a local church and building the pastor. Help him to build. Help him to grow. Like Elijah and Elisha. Elijah start by pouring water. Elijah and Elijah, Elijah start by pouring hands. Serve him. Minister him. So if you got a vision, God give you a vision. You need to start. You will need to start to work with somebody. Build somebody. And then when you build people, God says, hey, well now I see that you, you build other people. Let me build you one now. Right? So you need to build you need to build other people's things. This is where I go anyway. I will go and build other people's church, work in other church, work, work, work. I go all over, I work. Everybody know me as a work, as a hard work, I go in and build church, help work, work, help people, build them. Because when God ready to build me, right, he can send people to help me. And God said, I was faithful with the next man thing. I was faithful with this person thing. So what God can give me now. Right, say you were faithful other people think. So no one can see, well, this is yours one now. This is yours. So even before you start vision and you want to do, you need to be under somebody past, so be under ministry. Build, help them build. Help them, help them, help them to share their dream. Help them to build their vision. And when you can be good with their vision, then God says, hey, well now, I can give you your I can give you And so there's this with vision, right? And so, as, so I was talking about Abraham, God tell him, hey, come on from there. Well, God had to tell him, come on. God had to really, you know, see, when you get a vision and you die for the vision, it gets you in a lot of problems. You know, he lose, he nearly lose, you, he lose your wife, he lose everything, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right? So when, when, when you, when you, when you die for it, when you see, when you see ministry, you see churches, lose the fire and lose the members and all these kind of things. They are diverting. They, they, they can be one thing. I'm not saying that this is one the case. Because they are very, they, there's various seasoning churches. They very, they, even when you get a vision, there's, very, there's, there's various seasoning in your vision. In anybody's vision, there's very seasoned. You get a season where your nung start, when you open the mountain top, when you're low, when things are low. Because God gotta test the vision. The vision needs to be tested. The vision needs to be tried if it's really if you really want to go here. So God is saying, Leandro, you really want to go there and see. When you're going to go place things, you see things dry, nothing going on. Like, you know, yes, I divert a little bit. When it comes to certain countries, you say, wow, can't be God. Really, things are really tough, things are hard. Eh? Oh, okay. When I go to different, when I divert, more, more worse. I say, hey, things, guy, I get the money, but oh God, things are worse. Hey, you know what? Let me move from this thing here. Let me go back and do what God said. Yes. So, I really can't explain everything in vision today. Yeah. But the next time we can come and explain it a bit more and we can talk a little bit more about dreams. 823. Yeah. So when we start, when when we start. But what I like well, what yes. I what I gotta understand, right? Is that God has said, write the vision and make it clear. Ah. There's somebody on the live need to maybe you have a vision, maybe God showed you a vision. Right? Yes. We're touching so much on dream. But maybe God gave you a dream. I want to touch a little bit on that part. Right? Okay, but go ahead. He's saying, he's saying, write the vision and make it clear. Whatever yes. God is telling you to do it tonight, my encouragement to you tonight is to write, get a book, a pen, and write yes. the vision. Every yes. day you lay your hand and say, welcome to pass. It has to come to pass. Amen, 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 amen. Yes. Powerful. So you write the vision and run with it. And the time of and time of revealing, the time of revelation can come. 
So when you're running with it, you get troubles, you get problems. So who watching? You get in problem, and you want to say hey, this is not from God. No, run with it. God gonna reveal it later. Yes. Get yourself equipped. Get yourself prepared. Go back to school. If you gotta do a job in the meantime, till God, if you gotta do work in a, a job till God open it for you, go ahead. You understand? If you gotta work under somebody ministry till God, God, if God, you know, like for example, I'm God open some doors to me, and I'm, I'm you know, going later overseas. Amen. To a next, a next country. I can't. The place it started letting the alphabet. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna work with, with a pastor. So I'm gonna work with a one, one of Doctor doc, doc, Who. And so I'm gonna serve for with all I've got. I'm gonna serve. I'm gonna serve it. I'm gonna serve the ministry with all I got. You know, as, as God opens and God begins to, you know, Amen. open things. Yeah, so is if you think, go ahead, serve. Run your vision. Amen. Yes. And the next thing, Pastor Leandro, yes. with vision. When God gives you a vision, number one, the one key about it, I want to add to what you said earlier, is to pray yes. for it to come to pass. Pray oh my gosh. It to yes. happen. Ah. That is important. I, I, I forget what touch that. <laughs> Come on, come oh my on, God. somebody. Pray for it. Pray for it to happen. Oh my God. Yeah, go ahead, Mara, wow. Just to it. <laughs> wow, I, I, you see, we can get so much time. Yes, that is something that you need to, need to do. And so yes. it's the same. Abraham, when all his sheep died, he went out and started, Hey, God, what, 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 you know, you need to ask God, is this thing from you? Do you know much fasting? Do you know much praying? I just going to. You see, there's something good. Because if you don't pray, you're going to burn out. The zeal. You see, yes, no yes, fire. Yes. I see some people doing. Some people ask, I, I would go in a situation and look at a ministry or look at somebody where, when they, if they're preaching or if they are ministering. And I can say, well, this person got no fire, this person got no zeal. With you, you always happy, you joyous, you excited. Hey, Leanto, you can fire on me, you know, you know, Leanto, do this, do this, you know, excited, excited. If you don't get excitement or zeal or passion, you can't fulfill this. Amen. So the prayer life, it needs, you need to get a prayer life. You need to fast. Oh God, pour this thing in. Do you know how much fast? Look, look sometimes when I, when, I, when, I, when I fast in for days, I don't eat for days. I, I turn on me, me, me plate and me my wife and eating. But sometimes when we, we go eat food, we eat enough food. Because my wife knows that someday, a couple of weeks or next month, I eat it for months, and when you eat it, like you know, turn on you and pray, God, break this thing out, release this thing out. You need to get prayer life when you go in all these countries, all these temptations, all these things. You know, they ever want to track you. It's a good thing, prayer. And so, and, and, and so, and so, Samson he gets sidetracked, he loses the vision because you know, temptation. That's you right. Pray, you find in time to pray. You need time. Listen to me, vision. Oh, you get enough temptation. And the next enough, thing for the answer is that yes. when God, I'm telling you, when God gives you a vision, He will make it plain. And if, and if at that time the vision is not too clear for you, pray that God makes it clear and He will. Come on, somebody. Amen. Pray Amen. that Amen. God True. make that vision clear. So if it is wow. Time, I remember Pastor the answer, uh, uh, 2010, right? Yes. When God gave me a bit, it was clear. Listen to me, it was like, oh, like this happening. And I remember, wow. like, the sky was washed open. Amen, and God amen, is amen, amen. Me what is taking place. He's talking about the end time. And I'm seeing Jesus. fire and brimstone. And people is running. I remember seeing my brother. Jesus. And I'm saying, God, send me, let me go and tell him. And I'm, and I'm talking back to him. And Jesus. Who will go and tell this one that I love him? Who will go and the business man was so clear that I am speaking back. So when you're talking amen. about vision, that vision is you now talking back now. Right? Wow, yes. And I'm yes, yes. That, this is what we're like. 
Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Go ahead, go ahead, Yes, as you know, as you get a vision, sometimes you want, you know, as you run with it, as you say, preparation, God is going to, you know, yes. God is showing you that vision. People, you see how God started you? TV, Facebook, later down to explain to the people what God is showing to you, what God is yes. explaining to you. Where yes, no later down. Yes, amen, amen. Service. Somebody put it on the line. My God. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Today's session is totally different. It's a breakdown. Amen. It's like Leanta breaking it down for you. Jesus. I don't trust with all of the loud and the dead. But it's all about breaking because you have to break. Listen to me. This topic is powerful. Listen. Amen. This topic, ah, we can go all night. Amen. Amen. Understand <laughs> the knowledge of vision. And amen, the amen, amen. Of vision and dream. So God Jesus. said in the last day, this is what I will do. I'll pour out my spirit. Your son Jesus. and your daughter. They will prophesy. The young man will what? See vision. And your old amen. man will dream. Will dream dreams. Yes. My God. Amen. Hallelujah. Powerful, powerful, Pastor Leander. Powerful. Powerful, yeah. powerful. And the next thing, Pastor Leander, I want to add to what you said. In the vision now, or the part of it with the vision, and I like what you said earlier. You said it already too. But I want to say it again. It, Amen. Go you ahead. You have to act on it. You said it earlier. Vision, you cannot. God can't show you a vision and you sit down and just say, all right, I just want the money, just fall from heaven and just follow. No. You have amen, to amen. work. You have to act on it. Come on, somebody. Ah. Say yourself. I will yes. act on my vision. Come on, somebody. Say, it's time to act. Somebody write it down. It's time to act on my vision. It's time to act. And I like how you say it already. You said it already. You have to yes. act. Act on it. Act on it. Amen. So one thing, right? Action. So action without vision is disaster. Let me go again. Action without no vision is disaster. So you need vision and action combined together. Okay? Yes, Amen. Because if you if you do action without vision, if you, if you're gonna lead a who get no vision, you can you your whole family and everybody down in the ditch. So you need yeah. people with vision and action. Right, so yes. And, and sometimes, Pastor Leon, we have to step out and face. Sometimes God gives you a vision. Oh, he gives you a big house. And you, it's like what you said earlier. You said it. You said sometimes you're walking around the neighborhood and you see the house or something. So nah, you, can't. Um, you don't exactly have to be a preacher to fulfill vision. There is a lot of ministry in, in, in a lot of ministry you can um, still fulfill. There's a lot of things. You can be a business person in the market. What I mean in the market, in the marketplace means that you can be a manager or a lawyer or a doctor and Amen. still fulfill the call. You can even, like for example, like there is two types of vision. They are personal vision and they are corporate vision. So a personal vision is something that you would do. A personal vision is some you, you personally. A corporate vision is like, for example, you work in groups or you need to work with a pastor, right? Or you need to work with an apostle, a prophet, or a ministry, a children home, you know, a, a children center or something like that. So a corporate vision is where it's a group and you both will come with your ideas and you 
input things into people. So it is a corporate vision. You work with people, you input things to people, you work under somebody, you are a lawyer and you're giving godly counsel. You are a business people, right? And you want to bring some ideas to how to help the church to grow in a particular area. So you can work in that particular area, right? That you're in a home, a center, you know? Um, you work in any, in, any, in, any environment, in any environment, like your workplace. Like your workplace, right, Ronette? How you help people. God might put you in that direction to work with people, but you have your vision, but you're doing a job there. You know, you're helping out in that sort of area and you're blessing people. Kiri might be an engineer or you're working with, you know, whatever he is doing. See, he's there, right? He's there, but still have his, he still have, he still have his vision. He still, you know, he still have his vision. He's still working. You guys both, both are working together yeah. to fulfill one another. So, husband and wife, right? You work, co- you know, co- like, for example, you co- work with each other. You work with each other to help you know, you work, you help his vision, he help your vision. And sometimes I was thinking, like Kerry sitting with you, right? That's a self, that's 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 a job by itself. Sitting and helping you to push you, help you to move, to help you to grow. You know, he's there. Most most men will just leave the wife and you know, yes. do the thing. But he with you, you know, guiding you. And helping you, what you want to do, what, and he is pushing you. That is really, you know. What I mean? and make it plenty. Visionary are people who would see things. You go in a church, 10 people or five people, yeah. don't say, oh God, I'm crying. Go, bring in, yeah. Visionary, I see a million people. Let, give, listen to me, visionary, give them the vision and let them all run with it. Teach them your vision. Teach them, let them run with it. The vision, I say vision is not really pastor. Share the vision to them, let them yes. run with it. People can come. I go some places. I don't worry about 10 people. I am passionate. I am a visionary. I can know how to multiply it. I can know how to get it done. I can know how to get it. When we when I start doing when I start doing YouTube live and thing, I didn't know nothing about editing. 
visionary. Learn it. I had to sit down night, two o'clock at night, trying to figure this thing out, trying to figure. You see all them nice stuff, them all them nice flyers that you get in. He sent it one one time. That's why sometimes I stop sending you because I want you to learn it. I want you to figure it out. I want you and Kerry to get in the night and learn it. When your free time, get it fixed. Right? I had the night time. I had to learn it, figure it out. How we get this thing done? How we get this thing done? Graphic design, editing. I had to learn the whole software. This thing take me days and weeks and months to figure it out. Right? So as a visionary, you need to know how to do strategic ways. So the pastor was talking about oh, the wife and up there. If you're a visionary, you can know how to shape it. You can know how to fix it up. You understand? You gotta make a covenant. Hey God, if I divorce your wife, let me die. You gotta make some serious covenant. Don't no divorce your wife because she in date to this standard or she in date to you. Who is you? Teach her how to meet to your level. If you meet there, this thing. And a lot of pastors put you know because he was saying he was helping pastor, you know, because God helping it is, you know what I mean? Sharing other pastor how to go to, you know, um divorce. This is not what you know God allowed it, but there was not the thing for God, you know what I mean? There was not the intent for God. You know, there's not the intent for God, you know. Like you want a, a powerful, you know, you want a you want an angel, you know, you know, work with what you have. Work with what you got. If God give you a brick of stone, chisel it out. And then when you see a diamond, if you see a diamond, you throw it away. It looks like it don't work, but it's a kind of rock, a tiny rock, you know what I mean? It don't work. When you see gold, it, 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 when you see gold, it maybe it will get left. When you go in the interior, you see where part of people gotta go yeah. gold and mud, a lot of mud, a lot of dirt, and you gotta dig it out. When you see it black, and I gotta use algae, to out, and yeah. you gotta mm -hmm. think to get out the gold and to catch it. You know what I mean? It's a lot of work to get the gold out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so people visionaries see things and work on it. You visionary, work on it. And Kerry, you are a visionary man. You are a general and visionary. Day every day, helping her and, and maturing her and growing her, you know what I mean? And fashioning her into what she wants to be. Yes, yeah. Very good, you know what I mean? Yeah, general visionary, you know what I mean? No man to sit down with a wife and watch them grow, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, visionary. General, he's a general, you know what I mean? He's a visionary. Yeah, oh son. my god. Yeah. Music. So people would watch you guys and say, hey, I want my wife, I want my husband to do what I'm doing. You know? A lot of people in ministry, the wife alone preaching yes. or the man alone doing whatever do, and the wife I is not, you know what I mean, doing it. But people would see this alone and say, hey, I want to be like Kerry. I want to do what he's doing. I want to be a you know general like him. You know, he ain't gotta, you know, shout a lot of stuff and speak. Visionary you ain't gotta speak, you ain't gotta speak all the time, you ain't gotta shout all the time. You, you behind the work, you get people, look, people behind the scene doing stuff, doing the work, doing the, yeah. you know, people behind the scene doing things. Them is visionary, you know, acting behind the scene, doing things. Them is visionary, man, blueprint, them fixing. When you see the house building, people doing the drawing, people draw, drawing it, people drawing it. If you don't see them, you don't see them. People drawing the blueprint, the drawing. You don't really see them, you see the carpenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice vibe, but a lot of people put a lot of work into it, all right? So even if people see me speaking and, and, and ministering on, a lot of things went into it. A lot of training, a lot of ministry, a lot of people helped me. A lot of pastors, like Brother Kishan and so, you know? A lot of Brother Kishan and things who helped me. When people didn't see a lot of stuff. When people see the people, before I didn't minister, people see the, the, the rock, in the rock of land. People see the diamond. But people like minister, like minister, like Brother Kishan and think, hey, we see something in you. You know, we can work with it. All these years working and in scene and, and try it again and again. People say the, the vision will come to pass. It, it's rough. It's gonna be tough. Keep the red. Keep the red. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. People gonna see it. People gonna help you. You gotta people to help you and work through it. All right. <laughs> so I think there's enough yeah. for today. All right. Amen. I think there's enough. Amen. 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 It gets oh, a beautiful view. Beautiful. Oh, the beach, yes. The beach. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, the beach. It's hot over here. It's hot there? Yes. <laughs> beautiful. Um, it's just really cool. You can see the shade, so it's gonna be hot later. The beach, so yes, it's gonna be yes. gonna be nice, so you know. David, yeah. good night, blessings. Opposite there is the um the pool. Yes. 
Yeah. So we get a pool. So we take a shower after, you know, the, the, the pool. It's cool, it's cool over here. It's not like um the heat wave. Yeah. What's going on? So guys. Yes. So we're glad to think that you could um we can chop it up today. We had a good come a good session, a good Amen. a good time on. And um yes, yes, we enjoy so everything. Thank you and your husband welcoming me and um, yeah, yes, we had yes. a fun time today. Amen. Pastor Leandro, before you go, I just want you to pray two minutes for the people um, who, um, who, who maybe have a vision or a dream and they're not pursuing it. I would pray that the Holy Spirit will stir them up. And so I'll put two minutes to the people. That's an overall prayer. Amen. And then we wrap it up. Amen. All right. So we pray that the vision of God be the, um, the vision may address, yes. may touch people. We pray that the anointing of God may, 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 may come upon yes. them, arrest them. We pray that the fire of God, may, if the dreams are, are, are dying and are slow up, we pray that God yes. anointing his power may come upon them. We pray that the Shekinah glory, the, 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 the God of Yahweh, touch yes, and Lord. store them up keep them in the, the, the different journey they yes, had to go Lord. to fulfill this vision hold them guide them protect them into yes, what they Lord. what they exactly have to do teach them to be patient to work with people work under the past on until god yes. begin to release them and we, we we thank you god that you bless them even bless kiri and oh. um, ronette that whatever God wants yes. for them, that, 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 you know, the Holy Spirit will take them into the higher heights and, and different places and, and bless their ministry to go great and take them to yes. different parts of the world. And we thank you for everyone who are looking. Jesus. Give them the strength and give them the understanding to fulfill the vision, the wisdom, the strength, the courage, the patience. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, and amen. God bless you. Oh, it's yes. beautiful. Amen. It's beautiful out there. Yes, yes it's beautiful. Amen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Over there is Vietnam. Yes, so here's Cambodia with the monkey. You see the mountain is just there across is, is Vietnam. Yes. Goes by. <laughs> amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank All you right. very much for coming on. Thank Amen. you for the word, my brother. All right. Thank God you very much. You. Shalom. All right. God bless. Thank you. And I know this one will be the last for the first. I know you'll be back. Thank you and see you. Amen. Shalom. Amen. God bless you. Your Amen. Wife. God bless right. you. Shalom. You? Thank you. Hold on. My son wants to say hi. I see here. Come quick. 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 Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Quick. 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 Come quick, one minute, say hello. hello. Come, you gotta come here. You just wake up, so. Come, come, come. Hello. Come, come, come. Hello. Say hello. hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> you say five years old. <laughs> say, Jesus love you. I love you. Love you. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> all right. The baby yeah, inside, yeah. the baby with the mom inside. Bring the family right. oh, God, God bless you, much. Shalom. Yes. All right then. Bye-bye. Bless you. Uh...